you guys. I just got an order for four pickles from one of you. <laughs> okay, so here's my yarn. This is all the yarn I have. I'm hoping I'm going to get four pickles out of this. If not, I'm going to have to see if Michaels has any of this. So let's see if I can make four pickles. One done. Three more to go. <laughs> Three down, one to go. I was almost finished, but then somebody came by and bought one. So now I gotta make another one. But, <laughs> dropping my pickles. So, okay, now I gotta make the other one. Hey guys, so Matt Michaels, obviously. Uh, I'm just getting ready to leave. I've got to go to work. I just thought I'd pop. Oops, sorry. Thought I'd pop in here to see if I could find my Bernat yarn for the pickles. Let me set you up here and hope that you guys are going to stay there today. Oh, I just heard something that has got me a little concerned. Oh, and I went to a Walmart as well. And I talked to, um, I'm going to put my AC on and hope that it doesn't affect you guys too much. Um, Walmart is not phasing out from what she knows. So maybe they're just doing a reboot or something. I don't know. <clears throat> but, um, but the, but Michael's apparently is getting like doing new working with new vendors or uh, wholesalers or whatever um, because apparently Burnett is dropping the ball um, and they're not getting their shipments out and apparently they didn't um, really recover from COVID uh, so I'm like oh great because <clears throat> um, I, I have a wholesaler now that I'm going to be getting my brunette from that is the sister company to Yarnspirations or something and these guys have been <sighs> dropping the ball too because I've been trying desperately to get my yarn in or to, to get the um the application 
finished and find out what yarns they have and what um, the prices are and everything. And I'm still waiting to hear from them. It's been two weeks. Apparently, I'm supposed to hear from them either yesterday or today, so I guess we'll find out. I may have to actually phone them instead of doing this email crap. Don't run over the cyclists. Um, so anyway, uh, I am a little concerned now. I don't know what's going on with Bernat, but they better get the crap together, I'll tell you that. Um, so I'll let you guys know how that goes, but just a heads up, that's one of the reasons why we're having such a hard time getting any Bernat products in um, Michaels or Walmart. So it could also be the pass the buck kind of thing where it's really not Bernat. It's actually Walmart and Michaels and they just don't want to say it. <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to go grab my coffee and then um, I'm going to go to work. <sighs> I had to break down and get this other green colored yarn for my pickles. I'm not happy about it. And it's a thicker yarn, so I need the velvet um, yarn for my pickles. So, for the small pickles, anyway. But, uh, yeah, not happy. Whoa, this lady just tried to take me out. Anyway, all right, uh, I guess I'll talk to you guys in a bit. So here I am driving to work and I got this idea. I want to put it past you guys. I'm thinking about for the new section to my store, calling it hook and needles, like hook and needles, yarnery, hook and needles, something. Um, and then getting a logo designed for it. But what I want to maybe do is have my own um, crochet and knit group called Hook and Needles and uh, and then maybe do like a monthly um, membership where you get all these different perks you get like a percentage off of the yarn in the store or any products any hook and yarn products in the store um, you get free access to the space so you can come anytime and uh, and sit and you know crochet or knit for as long as you want and um, we have like a monthly meeting where we talk everything yarny you know um, any patterns that they have access to any patterns that I have um, or that I make in the future uh, like, I don't know, just, I need ideas. But anyway, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Like I could have my own crochet and knit group called the Hook and Needles. Um, but I gotta think of the, the rest of it, like the um, Hook and Needles fiber something. Like, I don't know, help me out guys. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think that's a good idea? Um, you know, I can have Print out, uh, printouts of different patterns uh, that they would have access to. Uh, like I would have special perks for them. Um, you know, maybe I, I don't know, like have a discount at the coffee row for them where, you know, they get a discount on their drinks. Um, yeah, I don't know, give me some ideas, you guys. Do you think that's a good idea? Do I have time to take on more stuff? <laughs> I don't know. Let me know. Hi, Yarnabies. So, sorry I look really tired because I am. <laughs> <clears throat> um, I'm going to be getting ready for work pretty soon. But I thought I would share a couple things that I'm doing with you. 
so I, th I don't even know if I told you guys, but <clears throat> if I didn't, here we go again. <laughs> um, so I showed you a clip before of, um, that one of you, uh, wonderful yarn of bees had contacted me and needed four pickles. I finally got the order done. Um, <clears throat> After I showed you the last clip where I had them done and then somebody came and bought one. Yeah, that happened again. So I ended up having two pickles I needed to make. <laughs> and then I went to make the last pickle at work and I ran out of stuffing. So I had the stuffing at home. So I had to come home last night <clears throat> and finish a pickle. So that was pickle madness. <laughs> Just when I thought I had the order finished, I didn't, and then I had the order finished, and then I didn't, and then, you know, it just went on and on. So, <laughs> it's finally finished. So, now I can mail it off, and uh, so I'm going to be doing that today. <clears throat> I also got an order from a wonderful lady um, in Ireland. So, she was buying some yarn. Uh, she was saying that they don't ship to Ireland, um, like the yarn bee, like a Hobby Lobby kind of stuff or anything like that. So <clears throat> I happen to have some in my stash, so, or in my shop. And so I, I'm packing it up and I'm trying to figure out how to send it because, uh, it's going to cost a fortune. And, um, I was going to vacuum seal the stuff and then my vacuum, my seal, vacuum sealer, Decided that it wasn't going to do what I needed it to do. <laughs> so, yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to try and pack it up. Weigh it. And then contact my new shipping company that I'm working with. And see what I can do. So. Um, yeah, so there's that. And then... Uh, in amongst my pickle madness, I started the baby sweater for the exhibition. <sighs> so, here's the beginning. Oops, <laughs> it's all folded. Here's the beginning of it. Uh, it's very bright. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, so now I've got to, I'm going to finish the body and then do the arms and the hood. So that's how far I got on it yesterday. I'm going to work on that today. Oh, excuse me. Mm. Mm. And then <clears throat> a lady came in a few days ago. And she, I have the Jacob's Ladder pillow that I made. Uh, I have a tutorial for that in my playlist. Um, and she said that she wanted one for a baby. Because there's a baby that's going to be born soon. And she wanted it in white and pink because it's a girl. I was like, okay. So... <clears throat> I went to Michael's. That's why I went. One of the reasons why I went to Michael's and uh, and Walmart <laughs> yesterday uh, was to pick up the yarn for that. So I picked up oh, the um, Bernat Premium and the. I mean, look at this white. I don't know if you guys can see it. And I'm dropping my hooks and stuff. Hang on. Uh, this is the, let's try and put my eyeballs on. White Sparkle, of course. Let me try and turn this on. See if that helps at all. Uh, can you see that? Oh, that sparkle. I call it Unicorn Sparkle. Um, it's really pretty. It's, the sparkle is kind of like different colors. Um, but it's, I don't know, it's the way the cat, it catches the light. It's just so pretty. <clears throat> so I got that and I got the Bernat Premium in the pink. 
light in the light pink. So I started that yesterday. <clears throat> so that's going to be cool. Um, let's see if I can quickly show you. <clears throat> Just gonna braid this one just to show you what it's gonna look like. There you go. So, yeah. So I'm. I went and got a smaller pillow form. I got a ten by ten. The one the pillow I did before I think was fourteen by fourteen. So I got a ten by ten, and so I'm hoping that this is gonna be, gonna be good. Um, but what I'm planning on doing is like on the other pillow, I took a wooden, um, it's, it's a, what is it? They use them for baby soothers, but they're, they're wood, <clears throat> like a donut kind of thing. Um, and then I put, uh, yarn around it and a tassel and everything. Well, my thought is I made a couple of soothers. That reminds me. Axel's teething right now. Tia hasn't used those. I should remind her. Um, <clears throat> Hi, Axel. <laughs> Apparently, Axel and Mason, my my grand grand nephew and my grandson, both watch my videos. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, I. Uh, I'm, I'm planning on, I made them, a, I made them a soother that had, um, what was it? A giraffe, I think it was. And I made another one. I can't remember what it was. <clears throat> and so what I'm thinking of doing is making another one of those and putting it on the pillow and making it detachable so that they can use it when the baby's old enough. Um, for teething. I'm going to try it, see how it goes. I don't know. But I do have to get a button um, for like a baby, a button for babies. Um, not a button for baby, you know, like a, a cute little pink and white button or something. I don't know. <clears throat> so, yeah, so that's kind of what I'm working on right now. Um, what else? Did you hear Sinead O'Connor died? Oh my God, my heart. That's such a sad story right there. Ugh. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that's pretty bad. <laughs> like old times isn't it <laughs> oh for those of you that are new I used to do my videos out on my back porch and the fairies were always um doing that oh excuse me so whenever I did yarn hauls I would have like the music had a fairy horn on it and uh <laughs> So that was kind of my thing back then. Um, so, yeah. My channel has changed so much over the years. It's weird. I don't know if it's changed for the better or the worse. But, you know, I used to do a lot of different editing stuff. and uh, I don't do that anymore. I don't know why. I probably should. Because you guys seem to like it when I had all that. But, yeah. <clears throat> it's a lot of work. But it was a lot of fun. <laughs> so, anyway. All right. So, I guess I'm going to go. Uh, I got to go get ready for work. Mm. My sister and I are going down to uh, Victoria on Monday. She's going to come on Sunday. Today's Friday, right? Yeah. She's going to come on Sunday. And... Um, we're going to try and deal with this. Oh, now it's the dog. 
we're going to try and deal with this room. And um, then on Monday, we're going to go down to Victoria. And I'm going to try and find some wholesale butter so I can make garlic butter. Oh, did I tell you guys about that? I went and bought some butter or some uh, garlic, fresh garlic, and I roasted it and I uh, melted real butter and I infused the garlic into it. Oh, it was, it's so good. It is so good. Um, so I'm thinking about selling that at my shop. So I'm going down to Victoria to see if I can find like big things of butter down there. We don't get that like you guys do in the States where um, you get like big blocks of cheese or big things of butter. Or, like we don't have anything like that here. So um, <clears throat> I want to figure out if it's going to be cost effective uh, to be able to make this stuff. So I don't know. Maybe I'll do a tutorial on it one day. Tutorial? Is that what that is called? I don't know. Anyways, I'll maybe do a video on it. So, <clears throat> anywho, I'm going to go. I got to probably jump in the shower and do all that. Okay. I love you guys. Thanks for joining me. And I will talk to you guys soon. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye.